Born in West Michigan, in Grand Rapids, shaped really by a university in Kalamazoo. But the five months I spent on the MS Paracula, a Swedish freighter, began my interest in commerce and economics because we had all this cargo. It really began my thinking about international trade. My transition to journalism began with a real firm belief that South Africa could not continue with this apartheid system. Mozambique independence in 1975, I was there. Angolan independence a few months later. And then most importantly, the Soweto uprising, June 16, 1976. And I was in Soweto on the first day. Southern Africa shaped my journalistic career and it led to my being hired by Voice of America. Nobody anticipated that uh, communism in the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe was going to end when it did. The story I could tell was not the policy makers, that had been done by the New York Times and the television networks, but rather the lives of ordinary people and how they were coping with momentous change. And I hit on the idea of riding a bicycle through 14 of these countries. I knew that on a bicycle, you're going to meet a lot of people. And that became the book, Exploring New Europe. And here in the States, I interviewed Ronald Reagan. That was a highlight. Meeting Warren Buffett and talking to him, this guy is pretty much what you see, is one of the most remarkable people alive. I look at my career, and I think I've been witness to three great epochs or events. One would be the collapse of communism. The second has been the rise of China. And finally, the internet, which has changed all of our lives. So those three events, and now working for Hong Kong Radio, it's just such a gift to be writing about the global economy.